Hi everyone and welcome. This is Joyce and I'll be your host for today's webinar titled How to Increase Productivity with Simplified Inventory Management. We'll be starting in just a moment, um, but I wanted to take this time to tell everyone on the call that if you have any questions, to please feel free to type them in on the right hand side of your bar. We'll be holding, um, we'll be answering your questions at the end of the presentation so you can submit them as the presentation is going on. With that said, our presenter for today's webinar is Noel, Business Development Manager for IntelliTrack. And as the Business Development Manager for IntelliTrack, he has worked closely with IntelliTrack's customers, partners, and engineers, giving him an in-depth understanding of the inventory challenges that companies face across a wide range of industries. So for more than 16 years, he has helped companies evaluate, understand the benefits of implementing inventory management software within their operations. Leveraging an extensive background in software and technology and a degree in management information systems, Noel can easily pinpoint the best solutions to help each organization meet their specific needs. And with that said, Noel, I'll go over, um, I'll pass the presentation over to you. Very good. Thanks, Joyce. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I'm happy to be talking with all of you guys about in how to increase productivity with simplified inventory management. Uh, as Joyce mentioned a little bit, I've been working in the on the software side of the AIDC industry for over 16 years. And just a quick fact, the, the acronym AIDC, I always like sharing this with folks because typically people don't know what it stands for, but it stands for Automatic Identification and Data Capture. Um, and during my years in the industry, I've been involved with hundreds of successful customer projects, including rollout of warehouse management systems, asset control applications, equipment tracking scenarios, um, even completely customized tracking solutions. Um, and what I would say is while every project is unique and has its own set of challenges, there are certainly common themes and best practices that apply to all, and many of which I'm going to be talking about today during the webinar. So during today's webinar, I'll be discussing with you guys how to increase productivity with simplified inventory management. We will talk about implementing barcodes and RFID technology across different scenarios, how best to maintain accurate counts and update data in real time, how to track exact location of both products and assets. We'll talk a little bit about how to optimize internal processes, including inventory handling activities like physical inventories, receiving processes, picking processes. Um, and we'll discuss the importance of selecting a solution that can be customized to meet your needs. And then finally, I'll share a brief overview of a recent success story to tie it all together for you. So first, let me pose the question as to why is inventory management so important to running your business? Um, you know, oftentimes while shipping and operations surrounding manufacturing or assembly processes have become faster and better organized, inventory management improvement and efficiencies have traditionally lagged behind. And this is going on all the while companies have been holding on to more and more inventory. Companies are indeed holding on to more stuff. Days of inventory outstanding, which is the amount of inventory on hand based on average sales per day, has risen 8.3% over the past five years. And personally, I can tell you guys that I've worked with several companies within the past six months who came closer to 15 to 20% increase being seen in the days of inventory outstanding. Um, and then, you know, certainly what's, what's key to this is the higher that number that is true for you, the greater the justification for implementing barcode technology and an inventory control system, thus improving processes surrounding the tracking of your inventory. So you guys have joined us today to find out about how to increase productivity with simplified inventory management. That may be because your company currently does not track existing company inventory or assets, or it does so using a manual inefficient method. And so I, I have some good news for you in the fact that you are not alone. 43% of businesses do not track their inventory or use a manual process to do so, and 55% of small businesses don't track their assets or use a manual process to do so. 
for the companies that fall into these statistics, the room for improvement is immense. The positive impact upon the business when implementing an inventory control system will be next to immediate and the ROI easily justified. So let's talk a little bit about three key technologies that are fundamental to inventory control. The first and most pervasive is a barcode. Nowadays, we're all familiar with what a barcode is, and today, I'm going to keep the definition fairly basic. It's a series of black and white lines that a barcode scanner can read and interpret to human-readable, meaningful data that can be used by software for identification purposes. Um, so the, the common example for everyday life is, of course, encountering these when you buy something in a store. The cashier scans the barcode at the register. The software knows what that item is and how much it costs. All right. RFID improves upon barcodes by not requiring line of sight to capture the identification encoded in the tag. Depending on the type of tag, you can be inches or many feet away from the tag and read the ID information that's encoded on the tag. A common example of RFID is the easy pass you might have in your car to pay for tolls as you drive through a toll booth. When you get close enough, the RFID tag inside the easy pass is red and the software looks up who you are and deducts the appropriate amount from your account to pay for the toll. And then lastly, the newest of the bunch is BLE, which stands for Bluetooth Low Energy. This is a technology that uses a battery-powered tag or beacon, which, in addition to transmitting a unique ID, can provide additional information on things like temperature, movement, and presence. So the benefits of using barcodes. As I mentioned, barcodes are the most pervasive and widely used method of tracking inventory and identifying assets. We just celebrated an anniversary of over 40 years of the barcode being around just the other day. Um, they are great for many different scenarios, including you know, things like tracking traditional inventory, tracking raw materials and or finished goods in a manufacturing environment, and even tracking something simple like consumable supplies. Additionally, they are widely used to track and identify unique equipment, things like fixed assets, tools that are in a tool crib, packages in a mailroom, or you know, various types of IT equipment. The benefits of using barcodes include the fact that they are inexpensive to produce. They are reliable and proven, as they have been in use for many years, as I mentioned earlier, and the technology to produce them and read them is also proven and trusted, the printers and scanners that go into the, the uh, implementation. When used in conjunction with inventory control software, they will help you reduce your overhead costs and improve the operational efficiencies of your business. RFID, what are the benefits? A few key ones include the idea, like I mentioned earlier, that line of sight's no longer a requirement. You do not need to see the label in order to read the tag and capture its information. Also, it's possible to read multiple tags at once simply based on proximity of the reader to the label. Uh, finally, RFID tags can provide information on the movement in or out of certain areas of a building or operation. And again, when used in conjunction with inventory control software, RFID tags will help reduce manual labor, improve visibility to your inventory, and speed up inventory control activities, things like physical counts, um, equipment checkouts, or check-ins. And then last up here, benefits of BLE, meant, again, the newest of the bunch, Bluetooth Low Energy, include the ability to capture that additional information like movement, presence, and temperature. Because BLE tags or beacons are powered by a battery source, you can read them and capture their information at further distances, you know, in, in, with the caveat too, I should mention, in ideal conditions. BLD technology is ideal for tracking things like assets, anything of value that is unique. So, for the remainder of the webinar, what I'd like to do is place the three technologies I just talked about, barcodes, RFID, and BLE, under a single umbrella term for just conversational purposes today, and that term would be barcode technology, so that we can outline in broad strokes the benefits to this technology as a whole. So remember, going forward, barcode technology refers to 
one or any combination of barcodes, RFID tags, and or BLA beacons. So that being said, with barcode technology, we are able to eliminate the need for ultra time consuming manual counts that might be happening today manually with a pen and paper. Without question, manual inventories are expensive and time consuming. Replacing this with the speed and simplicity of using barcode technology offers immediate ROI. Barcode technology is fast and it's reliable. It improves the accuracy of your data and reduces the potential for human error. Additionally, when you combine this with a solid and simple to use inventory control software application, barcode technology will greatly reduce employee training time. Scanners are easy to use with intelligent software that is guiding the employee through the process and validating any of the data or the activities they are doing uh, you know, versus having them to have to be trained on manual processes and or perhaps gaining familiarity with an entire product line that that person is not familiar with. Reducing overhead and improving efficiencies is a cornerstone of barcode technology. When we talk about barcode technology, costs of implementing the various forms can certainly range in price, but simple 1D barcode labels are the best way to start out and an inexpensive way of tracking, beginning to track your inventory. Um, with the right inventory control software, you can easily customize and print barcode labels for various items within your operation. So things like you know, products that you guys carry, sell, or, or um, purchase, shelf or bin locations, assets, pallets, all of these things can be barcoded. You can leverage the improved insight into your inventory then to reduce the level of inventory you are currently keeping stocked, avoiding things like overages and surplus stock, which you may currently be suffering from due to poor reordering decisions being made. And then, you know, additionally, what I'd add here is you can better manage your inventory and equipment with insight into things like who has it, the maintenancing, the maintenance schedule, the servicing needs of that equipment as well. Uh, maintaining accurate counts and updating your inventory in real time. You know, this is a critical aspect of barcode technology and the inventory control software that supports it you need to make sure that your inventory system supports perpetual inventory control, meaning allowing you to receive stuff and bring it into your inventory and issue or pick stuff to decrement it from your inventory. Um, and that updates can be posted real time, typically leveraging a, a Wi-Fi infrastructure. Such a setup ensures that you've got the greatest inventory accuracy and maximum benefit to your operation you'll be able to receive items into your inventory immediately, and then you will also be able to issue or pick items out of your inventory and update the on-hand counts immediately. This will give you the ability to look at the most accurate on-hand count to make the best business decisions for your operation. All right, so without question, what I would say to you guys is tracking the precise locations associated with your products and assets has multiple benefits to your operation. You can track inventory, first the concept of you can track it across various buildings or sites. And this is something critical to operations that are spread out geographically. And you need to be sure your inventory control software supports this capability. So that even if, you know, if, even if it's not a need today, should it become one as your business grows, your inventory system can scale and grow along with your organization. Tracking precise locations and the inventory they contain will allow you to gain operational efficiencies and make better decisions for your businesses. Oftentimes, companies have an idea of the total on-hand quantity they have in their building. We call this a four-wall count, and many accounting systems or ERP applications can provide this. However, while a four wall count is known, the precise location of each item may not be known. It's typically not known. Um, so for example, you may have a hundred of something in stock, but you know, five are here, 10 are there, 50 are over there, you know, in different locations spread out. And unless you know precisely which locations have how much, 
your operation is going to be inefficient. So it's important to know this information so that you can maximize the time spent, um, or sorry, you can minimize really the time spent looking for items. And when it comes to assets, you know exactly where or who is responsible for that asset. Additionally, it's important to identify these locations or assignees with barcode technology so that they can be validated and easily recorded with a simple scan. Intelligent inventory control software that leverages barcode technology should also provide you with ways to optimize internal processes surrounding activities like inventory, receiving and picking. Better insight into tracking additional information like expiration dates, serial numbers, or lot codes may be critical to your operation. For example, serial number information may help validate warranty claims or lot code tracking may be required by regulatory agencies. Additionally, you can drive FIFO throughout your operation, properly aging your inventory and driving the picking and shipping process to pull from the oldest items first. With the right software, you can create efficient pick paths through your facility, helping direct where operators go to interact with inventory during a put away or a pick. Finally, better operational planning can be achieved with intelligent inventory software that supports zones, grouping of orders for one or more pickers, and cross-docking, which is a feature that will direct a picker to pull inventory directly from the receiving dock, bypassing the need to have to put that material away first. As I've suggested so far throughout this webinar, the inventory control software that you select to leverage barcode technology and realize the benefits that it offers is critical. You should consider choosing from web-based or locally installed options. Web-based software has the advantages of offering maximum flexibility for licensing, offering lower startup costs, and faster implementation times. You should also make sure that the software you select offers ways to integrate with existing business systems, including support for things like robust web services or APIs, and that the staff of the vendor you decide to work with has expertise in building the optimal integration for your needs. And I, I truly, I don't want to understate the importance of this. Again, I've been doing this a long time and I've seen customers initially dismiss the concept surrounding integration capabilities and or the competency of the software services group that the vendor offers only to ultimately regret it in the long run. So something certainly important to, to consider. Additional customization options should also be considered. These would include things like multi-language support, the ability to easily rename fields within the software, and user-defined fields being offered for storing additional data elements. The more customization options that the software offers you out of the box, the better. So ultimately, once barcode technology is implemented and a robust inventory control system is up and running within your operation, you'll want to rely on the analysis of data from reports and views that the system offers you. This will help you fully realize the benefits of making informed business decisions based on accurate operational data surrounding your inventory. You should be able to pull reports that help you analyze current inventory on hand and then break that down by category, helping you understand metrics on different groups of inventory. Activity-based reports are important too. Receiving, you know, how many receiving how many orders a day, picking how many items per day, etc. This concept matches up with the need for the system to provide you with a robust audit trail or history reporting for all inventory control activities that take place in that system because this is going to help you report on and understand productivity, what activities and when they are taking place and which individual users are performing them. Receiving and picking reports should be detailed and offer you enough, you know, enough options to understand what is happening as items enter or leave your business. And then finally, 
kind of dovetailing with the previous slide, I, I would tell you that it's important to make sure that you have support for additional custom reports. Again, unique project requirements, unique customer needs are always present. So the ability to pull out data and have a report that's custom to your operation is critical. Um, including, I would say, in that mix, barcode labels, which should be you know, offered and be able to be customized as they will be incredibly useful to your organization. Okay, so recently the city of Orlando approached us in Teletrack looking for help with solving the many of the challenges, multiple challenges that they were facing with tracking various forms of inventory throughout the city. And many of the concepts that I've outlined in today's webinar were part of the city of Orlando's set of challenges with their project. They wanted to continue to leverage barcode technology with certain business units, but more fully embrace it with other business units that really weren't using it yet. So this meant they needed the ability to generate and print barcodes on demand from the system that they selected. Additionally, they needed help with tracking both assets and consumable supplies for the city. So a modular system that supported tracking both types of items assets and supplies was critical. Um, the city's IT group worked with the, the group that was you know, vetting the, the different vendors and, and made clear their preference for a web-based system so that support and maintenance would not have to be a burden that their team would have to take on. And additionally, correctly, I would say, they viewed the web-based system as the easiest way for them to deploy the system get it up and running, and then ensure future scalability across their large organization. Um, expertise with integrating to their existing ERP system was also a key point for them, um, as was the need to allow for customizations, which I just talked about earlier, the need for some custom reporting and labels. Um, that was critical for them. By selecting IntelliTrack for their inventory needs, the city has enjoyed multiple benefits like driving reorder decisions based on truly accurate and meaningful data, avoiding overstock issues, understanding what inventory needs to be deployed and which site needs it so they can actually transfer inventory internally, making better use of it and avoiding necessarily have to investing more money in reordering new inventory. Um, as was you know, important to them, the tracking of employee activities through audit trails and system history. Um, so I, you know, I would say to you, without question, the city of Orlando was able to increase their productivity with simplified inventory management. So I'd like to thank everyone for attending this webinar and I will turn things back over to Joyce and we can open things up for any questions or comments that you guys have. Awesome. Thanks, Noel. Um, so, like Noel said, we're going to open this up for questions. If you have any questions, feel free to submit them on the right-hand side. Um, and I'll go ahead with our first question. Uh, is the web-based software option you talked about more popular these days than the locally installed option? Uh, that's a very good question. I would say yes, it is. Um, the web-based software continues to um, trend as a, as a much more popular method of deploying it throughout organizations. So the example I just gave, City of Orlando, it was critical for them they had a web-based system. Just much less overhead, much less support burden for them. Um, we as a vendor take on all of the, the security, um, the, the, the support, and the, and the maintenance of the system, and the customer enjoys effectively always real time, the latest version, easy ability to roll it out and to, to access the program from anywhere they are. Locally installed is still, um, still around, it's still something that, that fills a need, but I would say in terms of market share, uh, as is the trend across you know, all software industry, uh, web-based tends to be the future and, and where we're seeing a tremendous amount of growth and adoption rate. Um, because intrinsically, just so many benefits that customers enjoy from it. Awesome. And it doesn't seem like we have any more questions, but oh wait, one just came through. 
Uh, if you are using RFID tags for tracking inventory, how do you know for sure that all tags are read, say, in a certain area? That's a good question. So, you know, RFID eliminates the line of sight component, as I talked about earlier. RFID, um, so barcodes, you can, you can sort of make sure that, the, you know, I've seen this, I've scanned it visually. Um, so really what you need to do is make sure that the software you have supporting the RFID reading in some way validates against, you know, what was the expected, if I had 50 of something in one area, now I'm now transferring them, either checking assets out or moving a pallet of inventory from one spot to another, that I make sure all 50 were actually relieved from its source location. So it, it the answer to that question is intrinsic to the software, um, that it does a good job of understanding, you know, how many are we starting out with, and then if the reader only picks up 45 out of the 50, that the, those five remaining can be, you know, either um, spot checked, um, perhaps they were truly left behind, or if they weren't just read, somebody needs to go over and audit that and check that and confirm that the, um, the five, you know, that weren't read initially do get read. Part of that, though, too, I would say is, you know, a lot of, a lot of work goes into ensuring that um, you have maximum read rate. So the type of tag that you select, the material that the tag is going on, the environment that the tag is in, um, there are multiple uh, aspects that are, are, you know, folks bring, you know, we and, and the partners we work with um, bring the expertise to the table to, to um, solve all of those different challenges and, and RFID has them but they're certainly you know surmountable um, with as long as you know you go through the right steps and the vendor works with you in terms of evaluating all those aspects I just talked about. Awesome. One other question is what form of barcoding is most effective? Uh, he said he's heard of 2D, 3D, and QR. Good question. So, yeah, we have 1D barcodes are what I really described in the presentation today to keep things simple. That's the standard set of black and white lines. Um, then you have 2D codes and 3D QR codes. They're, they're all sort of falling under the same umbrella. I always describe them as kind of looking like hieroglyphics. You know, if you look at typically the back of a driver's license today, you'll see one. The advantages to 2D, 3D barcodes are that you can embed much more information in them. Um, when it comes to inventory control, like for the simple example of the cash register, the software behind the scenes powering that whole operation at point of sale or in a warehouse or whatever the scenario really just needs that pointer of what is this thing and then it goes back and looks everything up. Um, but, and so I would say nine times out of ten still today, the 1D barcode is the most popular. Um, 2D, 3D, you can embed all this extra information in it, but then you need to worry about parsing it out and, and breaking it up appropriately into chunks so that whatever application you are using can basically, you know, put it into the right field. Um, so again, in a, a, like in law enforcement, they'll scan the back of the driver's license and it will populate your name, your address, you know, city, state, zip, all these different variables. Um, for, you know, so it really depends on what the application is, what it is you are tracking. Um, I would still argue that the 1D barcode, there's a reason it's still around and it's the most popular. It's because it's simple. It's easy to work with. It's very, you know, effective at what it does. Um, that still remains true today. The case for QR, 2D barcodes is, is you know, are scenarios where, again, you need to embed extra, extra, extra information in that label. Um, you know, for some sort of typically other purpose of, of pulling it all out and, and uh, do leveraging it effectively within a, a, an application. Awesome. Uh, what is the maximum number of RFID tags that can be read moving through a portal? <laughs> That's a good question. It's, it's pretty specific. I don't want to even hedge a guess. We can, we could table that and certainly email you back. Um, like I say, it's really going to depend on a whole slew of variables. Um, the reader, the portal, the type of tag, the material it's on. So all of that would really affect the answer. 
Um, there's no, I can't give you a, a number and say, you know, a hundred or a thousand. Um, it's going to depend on a number of variables. So if you, you know, if you'd like, we'd be happy to, to follow up with you individually and find out a little bit about the, the, the requirements that you have, what it is you're tracking, and, and then we can certainly give you some meaningful metrics on that. Awesome. So uh, the last question that I will ask, and, and just for everyone that has submitted their questions, if I don't mention it here, it's because, like Noel said, we will follow up with you personally to kind of their specific questions and pricing and all of that. So um, the last question will be, how do barcoding solutions that are purchased connect with ex existing software, such as SAP or custom databases? Good question. So. It talks about, you know, circling back to my idea that that is an important thing to always keep in mind and consider with whatever you select. You, there are all sorts of um, methodologies out there, but the most popular these days tend to be either web services or an API. And that is basically a robust set of programmatic tools that engineers, software developers, service uh, representatives can leverage to extract data and post it and pull it to and from, you know, another system. So whether it's SAP or Oracle at the high end, or we're talking about something more mid-tier like a NetSuite or um, Epicor or Dynamics or QuickBooks, um, Zero, all of these different backend applications, um, all of them typically almost always offer um, a set of services. And so you want to make sure the inventory software you select has also a set of services that can basically talk to one another. And so there are a number of open standards. I would, again, say web services and API are the most common these days. Um, and that is what is leveraged for allowing two systems to talk to each other so that you can pull in asset data, or pull in purchase orders, sale orders, inventory master lists, things like that. Awesome, thank you so much. So um, with that, like I said, we will follow up after the webinar with any of the specific questions that people ask. So um, feel free also to email us. We'll be um, posting this presentation at the end to the Supply Chain Geek Network, so for anyone that wants to rewatch it. Um, other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you have a great day. Thanks, everyone.